Well, life at Mount Birth is very tranquil. It's like Eden. It's like paradise. I grew up in Miami, Florida. Coming here, it wasn't a big adjustment. It was just getting used to the culture because being black and being American is a novelty here. Well, I came to Australia the first time in 2016 after I met my wife, Rosie, on Facebook. I did propose to her on Valentine's Day 2017. Of course, she said yes. I mean, who wouldn't? Look at me. <laughs> then my wife, Rosie, got the bright idea. Oh, that shop's for sale. Let's buy it. Yeah, OK, sure, why not? <laughs> <sighs> I should have read the fine print. <laughs> I didn't know it was going to be eight days a week, 12 hours a day. So we tried to vary the menu to uh, expose people to other things that you probably won't be able to get anywhere else. American hamburgers, Jamaican chicken sandwiches, American tuna. People love it, but you have to keep the fish and chips so people would go irate. She's the accountant. I'm the brawn. Uh, well, so to speak. After purchasing the store, yeah, there were people that were wary, leery. Well, I found that as far as racism, discrimination, you spend the time to let people get to know you, those things will change over time if they wanted to. You just keep being yourself, and after a while, they will see. He seems like a real human being with real feelings. Moving to Australia was probably the biggest move I've ever made in my life.